Hello and welcome to my new video. If you're new here, hi, I am Lex and today I'm bringing you a beautiful cozy island tour. This island is so relaxing and just refreshing to walk through. You might recognize some portions from one of my recent ideas videos. I did visit the island of Valencia then as well. Let's take a look at the map. Here we have Joanna Cozy Isles over on Instagram. She is the creator of this island. Lovely terraforming. Look at this water terraforming all over. Just absolutely stunning. There's the dream address as well if you'd like to visit along with me. The villagers we have here are Maple, Melba, Marshall, Ellie, Ozzy, Silvana, Goldie, Daisy, Coco, and Olive. I love Daisy. I hope we run into her on the island today, but this is such a cute little entrance. Joanna did leave some gifts by resident services. I suspect Pineapple Hat is about to make its exit. Let me see what these are. We've got this cute little outfit. Joanna also included some other things you could hold like a green balloon and a green grass folding fan. I might hold this. And then also a ladder and a vaulting pole just if we need it. Look at me. Look at me. How cute. Okay. We've got music playing all right as you enter a little welcome sign, a bunny. This island has some fauna going on, not fauna the deer. This is adorable though. I love the custom designs. I will plop any custom designs Joanna provides in the video description for you if you're interested in seeing what was used on the island. This is such a pretty little garden. What the heck? I think this is Coco's house. It is. I'm too good. Animal Crossing expert. What a beautiful little setup for her. Hold on. Like, okay, Joanna. What is this? How beautiful. The setup is everything. I love the height provided by the cliffs, the windmill in the back. Just very pretty. I've also never noticed before that the chimney on these houses is different. So the clouds are like going through the roof a little bit. Look at that. Interesting. Let's go over here though. I see another little house. This is the area I featured for quick ideas. Just a little gyroid get together here. They're like a little band. Look at them. I love the music playing around too, so that you kind of have some ambiance as you walk through the island. This is gorgeous. A stunning little house here with some laundry to the side. That definitely fits with this cozy spring core kind of theme we have going on. Like I said, this island is just really pleasant, really relaxing to walk through. The colors are so gentle and pretty. And look at these little planters on the lamp. That's adorable. Here's Silvana walking around. What a cutie. We've got a kind of simple beach over here. Just a little area to chill, hang out. I love the sandals. Look at this. Nook's Cranny is actually a little record store, which makes sense given the music playing around the island. Big music vibes. I also do love this little waterfall right behind Nook's Cranny. It's so casual and cute. It's not like overdone. And then we can go up here and there's another house, another villager perhaps. How cute. Love the custom designs on the cushions, the green. So pretty. And go up here though. Also, look at this little area. The green is so pretty. It's like a neutral green tone. Very, very cute. And this little villager over here. I don't know if the house interiors are decorated, so we can check. But look at this little scrapbook on the ground. It's like a little picnic right outside. Oh, a little painting area. This is the island flag as well. This cute little deer. How adorable. Oh, the houses are decorated. Here we have Melba with her cute little green themed interior. The villagers are also cute too, by the way. They're all also like very neutral toned villagers, very gentle on the eye. This is just such a calming experience. I love her little alarm clock, her little bed, her floral print. How precious. This is very fitting for Melba, I think. And I love this beach. This is so nice. I love the brick design on the ground. I think that really, really does something for me. This is cute too. Just some little jam jars by the beach. Hello. We've got little bunnies everywhere. How cute. I wonder if Coco communes with them sometimes. We also should probably go back to Coco's house and check it out since the interiors are decorated. So that'll be something to look forward to. We've got little stepping stones up on the cliff. That's gorgeous. What the heck? I want to see this waterfall. Oh my gosh, I forgot we have a ladder. I was looking for like a vine or something. 
No, I can get up here. Look at me. There's a little bench over here. Oh, another villager house I didn't even notice when we were down at Melba's. This is so cute. They've got their own little bakery over here. Like, farm to table vibes. They're growing the wheat. They're making the things. We've got a little windmill over there. This is stunning. Oh, and Ellie's walking around. It's very beautiful water terraforming, like I mentioned before. This island just does, this creator, I mean Joanna, she just does a lovely job with waterscaping. It all looks so natural and pretty. We've got this little area behind the house. Like, this villager could just climb up here and have a little picnic, a little mug of coffee with a beautiful waterfall overlook. Seeing the little hats placed around makes me so nostalgic because I feel like this was all the rage on Animal Crossing Pinterest for so long and I just love to see it. I love things that make me nostalgic for Animal Crossing and this island is really doing that. And it's so beautifully designed. Kind of walking through the waterfalls here, just a lovely experience. There's a lot up here to see as well. We can walk up here, I suppose. Since I keep forgetting, I can just do that with my little ladder. Oh, and there's a ladder setup kit here that we can use. Holding a ladder, climbing a ladder. I miss these, the standees used with designs. How cute. This villager has their own little like flower garden back here. We have crates of lily of the valleys. How lovely. Lilies of the valley. Why do I feel like I'm making up that term? And then we've got another villager home here. Look at these shelves. How beautiful are these? Just absolutely stunning. They match the island vibe so well too. This is so pretty. We've got a little well over here. Everything this villager needs just right here for their little garden. I have never seen the clacker cart used on an island. Look at that. It's like a little cottage core mower. That's so funny. We'll head this way. Look at the little plants swaying in the breeze, bro. Stop. This is adorable. Oh, another villager home back here. They've got a little milk can out front. And this beautiful little storefront with a curtain in front of it. Let's go see this villager's house. Oh, this is Marshall. And look at his house. So classy. Definitely his vibe. Look at him. Look at the cute little guy. He's got a menu for his kitchen. Bro's running a little underground bar, coffee bar. That's so cute. Thank you for having us, Marshall. We're gonna head out, King. And back here to the right is the museum for the island. We've got a little gyroid out front watching things. Oh, a couple of gyroids. Look at them. They're playing with the fossils. They've got like a little fossil showcase, a little outdoor exhibit over here. This is cute, and we've got this walkway leading back this way. You can kind of see this simply decorated, very natural beach. Everything on this island is just so cohesive and stunningly put together. Look at the little bike back here. I love the decor back here. We've even got the Brewstoid, the little Brewster gyroid. Adorable. We'll head back to the left. Still plenty to see over here. I'm going to cheat and use the ladder here just to look back here. We've got the bird house and a bird bath. Cute. We're attracting birds. Look at this little picnic area. The fancy music box. And then a record player back here. A little overlook to the sea. This is beautiful. And look at this. The little chair. Lots of spaces to just sit and relax on the island, which definitely matches with the vibes of the island as a whole. It is a very relaxing island. Look at this terraforming. Look at this. We've got a little sunken tree area, some porch swings over there, little swings overlooking the beach. That's where I want to be. Heck yeah. This is stunning and I love the baby trees around. Going down this little incline here. We haven't even seen this area because I got up there via my ladder. But we've got like what seems to be a little postal area over here, a post office. Again, with this like cottage core mix of packages and stuff, I think it's so well done. This is super cute. Even the cardboard boxes just fit the vibe. Like they just match with the color scheme, which is so funny. Let's see what's up here. Oh, is this the little... Yeah, this is the little bakery we saw earlier. So if we'd gone to the left and used 
the incline here. This is where we would have ended up, this little post office. And this, oh, this is right behind resident services. So we've kind of circled around to the right side of resident services. Well, I guess that's what way I was coming initially, but yeah, so that is the right side of the island. We will continue working our way to the left now, I suppose. See what else the island has in store for us. There's so much pretty terraforming going on here. And look at this little camper van kind of scenario, like a little clothing shop. How cute, and this little bear wearing a shirt. It's like a sample of the clothing you can get from this little shop. This is super duper cute. Look at the bunny up here. I really almost called the bunny a banana. Same thing, we just had official like national banana day or something recently. And this is cute. Again, the cruiser bike looks so good on this island. I think it looks perfect. I also just noticed there was a vine there. You can like barely see the vine sticking over the side of the cliff. How cute. Let's move to the left here. Some more gyroids just hanging out. Look at them with this giant little mushroom platform. We've got a little picnic in the woods. It's surrounded by trees and nature. We've got the little party string lights, which are cute. All oh, this terraforming is so pretty too. This is the area we were just climbing all over. But look at that waterscaping. I think that's one of Joanna's greatest strengths is the water terraforming because look at how gorgeous this is. Just lovely. Oh, here's Ozzy walking around hiking. We are just checking things out. Don't mind us. Oh, this is giving like Mad Hatter vibes, little tea sesh in the woods. Look at that tart. I want some pie now. I want some pie. We can head up here. Here's another villager home, possibly Ozzy's since he was just walking around here. And look at the little duck in a puddle. What a little cutie. And some more really lovely terraforming, just a little sunken waterfall here to split things up a bit. Just gorgeous. Oh, and here's the secret beach. You can walk down here and enjoy, again, just a restful little sitting area. Exactly what I'd expect for this island because it is just so cozy and sweet. Look at these little place settings, the green plates. They're so cute. There's like a little outdoor kitchen sesh going on. I like the simple panels behind it. They kind of make it feel like its own little tiny building as opposed to just having the outdoor kitchen sitting out. It feels more permanent that way, less temporary of a setup. But this is lovely. We can actually climb down here if we want to. And here is another villager home. They are not home, but they have a very cute little setup. Very small, but compact, very cute. And this is nice. Look at this little hammock out here. Let's go see what's behind this house. I saw a car. Oh, and here's Joanna walking around here at the transportation stop. Hello, lovely. Hi. Hello. Just a cute little area by the beach. Nothing too crazy. Head back this way. Take the bridge, the official bridge. Oh, I love using the swing benches to like create a barrier, like a fence beside cliffs. That's cute. We're gonna have to figure out how to get up there to the campsite, but for now, we're chilling. Some more really nice terraforming. Like, hello. Joanna, when are you providing terraforming tutorial classes? Please? Pretty please? Oh, this is cute. Little cottage core volleyball. Shut up. Shut up. That's adorable. Just a little cottage core sport sesh, you know. The huge. And then we've got a little lighthouse on the beach. Some dropped hyacinths. That's precious. There's also a pathway. I don't know if it leads to anything, but there is a pathway over here. You can just go hang out on this beach rock, I suppose. Oh, look at these scooters. The colors are so perfect. The green and the white matching very well with the island aesthetic. And this beach is so well done. Little seating areas by the ocean. Just a coastal dream. And this is lovely. We've got this cafe that's kind of spread its tables onto the beach. They have coffee. They have cookies. Everything I've ever wanted. Look at this little phone. 
They are taking to-go orders if you'd like to call something in. That's just so cute. And some pretty terraforming around it, kind of filling in the area. Here's the official Able Sisters. We saw a little clothing shop earlier, but this is the actual Able Sisters setup. They've got a pretty expansive sewing area. And here's another house. I think this might be Daisy's house. If I remember her home correctly, we'll see in a second. But she's got little bears having a tea party over here. Okay, let's go in. It is Daisy. I'm too good. Animal Crossing professional. This is so cute though. She has the island flag portrait hanging on her wall. She is an island nationalist. Is that right, Daisy? Look at you. Daisy is the best dog, in my opinion. I will I will hear your opinions, but I will not respect them if they're different. Daisy on top. She has such a cute little setup. She has little bread dishes to the right of her house. She has her own leaning tower of Pisa. Okay. Okay, Daisy. I feel like I missed something over here, but maybe I didn't. There is a cute overlook here, so you can see a little picnic happening over there. Very cute. Let's go see. I think the resident representative's house was over beside Daisy's. Crossing this little bridge, we've got a beautiful little setup here, a little bunny over there. Oh, look at this. I never see the tulip surprise box being used. So that's funny. Look at this. Another little, it looks like a little clothing shop here. This is a big clothing island, big fashion island vibes. And of course the colors are all perfect. Let's head up here and check out their resident rep's home, I do believe. Oh, another little picnic area. This island is so picnic core. Look at this. So many beautiful green tones throughout the island. Let's go inside. Oh, they changed the entryway to the white tile. That looks great. I don't know that I've ever noticed that before. This is beautiful, a very simple, but very lovely setup for the main room. Got some reading areas and such. And this is super cute, a little kitchen. This does break the theme we were talking about the other day on stream, which is that people usually put their bathrooms in the right room and the kitchen in the left room. Just something we've noticed as a community. And the left room is a little library. How cute, maybe a nursery. We do have a little baby bed here. So it could be a little nursery. We've definitely got a lot of books. You know, I love this room. This would be my favorite room of the house. And the back room is a little seamstress room, it seems. Somewhere where we're making, designing some clothes. We've got a loom making this beautiful fabric. This is incredible, so well done. Definitely a fitting room given the theme on the island. Oh, look at this bedroom. I think this is my favorite room of the house aesthetically. Look how pretty. There's a computer. That's like the first electronic we've seen aside from like the portable radio recorders, whatever these are called, record players. There we go. This is so stunning though. And look at that art on the wall. It's very cute. We've got some keys on the wall too. Very organized a little rep we have here. This is so pretty. And then downstairs, look at this. We've got a little screen going on, a little movie room, complete with snacks. We've got the dessert carrier, some bottles, even some cookies and a cookie jar. And the gyroids are so cute, look at them. This is adorable. I love this room too. This was adorable, bro. We've got to go this way now, I do believe. Oh, right to the left of Resident services is a little bike rental area. That's where all the cruiser bikes on the island are from. People just keep, you know, renting them, not taking them back. Very professional though. I love that this phone is the go-to for businesses on the island. It's just very pretty. And these little bubbles, what the heck? There are little bubbles going around outside. Okay. Oh, we've got some purple here. A little out of the ordinary for this island. I love that splash of color. We've got a little cave there. Oh, and there's a lavender field. How pretty in some specialty clothing. This island does have like a little undercurrent of a fashion theme. That's so cool. Picking up on the little, the little vibes that aren't in the official theme but that definitely play a role. I love that pergola in the back with that purple tone. 
And here is the little Mad Hatter area we saw earlier. Let's go into this villager home. Oh, this is Maple's house. She has a very nice little kitchen area here. Some fresh muffins. I would love to dig in, Maple. Thank you. What a hospitable queen. I used to have beef with Maple. If you're OG Lexplanation, you know, but... She and I are good now. Look at her. She's just a cutie. She's the blueprint for cute little bears. Yeah, what a stunning little island we've just seen. This is so pretty. All the animal life, too, is so cool. The ducks, the bunnies we've seen everywhere. Everything has just been stunning. I don't think I looked at this little picnic area, but super cute. Look, there's a matcha donut on the ground. How cute. I also, because I got my ladder out, I'm no longer carrying my fans. So let me switch that. Yeah, look at us. Look at the little watering can there too. I think I already went up here. Yeah, I did. Okay. I've gotten to the point where I think we've seen most of the island, but I'm always terrified I'm going to miss something and the smallest areas can have the coolest vibes. So I want to run back through here, make sure we haven't missed anything amazing. We can also go into Coco's house really quick. Oh, there's Goldie. She's besties with Coco walking around her house. Oh, and Coco has a very restful little home. Look at her. She has a lot of books. Very fitting for a normal villager to have. They love reading. This is cute. Very simple, but just perfect for her. And she matches the theme just as as a character. Her coloring is perfect for this island theme. Okay, I'm pretty sure we've seen everything on the island. I wanted this beautiful backdrop at the cottage core volleyball setup just to finish us off joanna thank you so much for having me on your island today thank you so much to my channel members thank you all for your support and if you are not a member and would like to become one the link is in the description be sure to check out joanna's instagram and the island custom design codes in the description and i'll see you all in the next video bye